All right, just to let y'all know out there, I got rid of all my propane because I got tired of the expensive price and all. I'm retired, so I don't need to spend no more than I need to. I got to spend it on my RV. There you go. So, show you what I did. Um, cleaned all this out. That's going to come down. That's going to come down. That's going to probably go over there, and I'll just use a long pole to put cords up. That's to the hot tub right there. That's a 50 amp service. Well, actually, it's more than 50 amps, almost 100. Uh, 50 amp leg, like an RV. I put all of that in right there. So basically, the wood the wood furnace is going to go here. I'll show you. I'll get there, and then I'll put a duck, a ducking, a blow ducking all the way down. It's going to blow over this way. All right. We're getting there, and then I'm going to put a little duct that goes out here that'll blow down. I want to get out of the hot tub, it'll be hot air. I'll put a little lever out there that I move it around with and let it blow out, see? It'll go right there where my flag is. It'll be coming out right about here and blowing down right here where you get out. So there you go. There's the steps. There's the hot tub. Get in. And the vent would be blown right in here, hot air. And I'll just uh, have a lever out here, just turn it on and off or whatever. All right, so let's just let you know, I ain't working on an RV right now. did do all that. Um, thank you very much. It's Jeff from RV Don. I was just letting you know the garage is moving ahead, the school. And I'm going to have it all warmed up for y'all. Come on down. I got 50 amp water and sewage. And the wife even had a great idea. She said, put in another 50 amp back there. I'm like, okay, uh, that's going to be hand dug. I'm going to put it in myself. And uh, that's about 120 feet back here. So I'm going to have to definitely go down a gauge, probably like four gauge instead of six. I'll look at it, calculate it like I usually do anyway. Thank you very much, Jeff from RV Diagnostic. Test, not guess.